Hey everyone, John Harley, and I am here with today's mail. Um, after buying um, the new gold commemorative this month, when I say this month, my credit card billing goes from the 21st to the 21st, so I'm right in the middle of a month of purchasing. I have a budget for each billing cycle I don't go over it usually and I pay it off uh, monthly I've been in credit card debt in my youth and I'm never going to be in credit card debt again I promise you that but anyway um, when I bought the gold that took a big bite out of my monthly budget so I've been getting to keep me occupied smaller things here and there so um, I've got four packages that have arrived as far back as a week and a half ago till this morning. So when I got the uh, one this morning, I said I'll go ahead and take these four and, and do a video on it. So let's see. These are all, well... Each package is a single coin. Stuck to the cardboard. And 1955 Denver. This is for the new Wheat Scent album that's not really a Wheat Scent album, it's just a place to put all of my Wheat Scents and I'm now buying Wheat Scents, so that's okay. The newer ones are rather inexpensive, you can get, get coins that look perfect for yeah, including shipping, you know, five to ten dollars. I don't know exactly what I bought this for, but about that. This is another I bought from this guy before. I recognize his handwriting. I think I got one of the link, uh, uh, the wheat cents from a couple of weeks ago's video. Yeah, because it had the price down here, and I said, pay no attention to the price in the corner. Because that is not what I paid for this 1952 Denver. This guy, every one of his coins um, has a give me a best offer price on it. And he'll put you know, this is a really nice looking wheat scent, so he'll put this thing up there at $18. And somebody that doesn't know a whole lot about the value of these coins would would say $18. That's cheap for a coin made in the 50s. And would take him on it, but uh, no, I offered him I think 6 or $7 plus 99 cents shipping, but Another nice one for the album. All right. This is the package that arrived today. The next two coins, both of these, a month ago or so, I was watching uh, Mike GPO. And um, Mike is one of those guys that since I've gotten into the... Uh, the community making videos that um, he's one of those guys that just you feel comfortable with him he's a nice guy uh, at the beginning of each of his videos he said come on in and watch the video the only thing you have to do is be nice and so I've, um, I've become very fond of, of Mike and his videos he's uh, he even though he is 
from Canada, which is above the Yankees, so that makes them worse than the Yankees. Bad joke, sorry. Um, I was watching one of Mike's videos one day, and he got a package in from Big Lori, who is a guy over in Scotland, I think. And a couple of the coins that he got that day struck me, and so I started looking, and I got these coins. Sometimes you see a coin that has a design, or in this case, a face on it, and you just have to have it. So, I found one. Open this up properly. I can reuse it. Good. She did not tear. Yeah, this came from Reading, Pennsylvania. But anyhow, that's the part that, I mean, I would look this guy up. He, I don't know if his, the guy that made the, the sculpture for the coin was a jerk or that the guy who painted his portraits was being kind, but in his portraits, his nose is not that big and his sideburns are not that comical looking. But when I saw this coin on Mike's channel, I, I, I had to have it. So I found this one and it looks to be is good or better than the photos of it. Lots of mint luster left on it. This guy's name is Antonio Jose de Sucre. And um, he lived from 1795 to 1830. Um, he was a general in military in South America and I'm not narrowing it down to a country because he's I think he's fighting for the Spanish but uh, I didn't read the whole bio on him but it's from what I scanned through it's kind of interesting A after his military career he was the fourth president of Peru and then later the second president of Bolivia and yet this is a coin from Ecuador and his name is Sucre and the denomination of this coin is five Sucres so Ecuador he, he won a big battle that is now in present day Ecuador from what I've read. Um, but Ecuador thought enough about him to not only put him on a coin, but to name, at that time anyway, the denomination of their currency after him. This one is uh, 720 silver. It is supposed to be 37.8 millimeters. And it is falling at 38. I found it up here. 
is not as accurate as down lower. It's a little bit off. That fell right at 38 and it's supposed to be 37.8. So, but I'll take that. Um, coin is obviously in hand. It's real. It's uh, supposed to be 25 grams and this one is definitely uncirculated. So, let's see up around. 24.96 that looks good I brought out my magnet today because the next coin I got at such a good price I uh, I want to make sure that it's silver because I mean the, the dealer had good feedback on eBay but it was just really a good price so I'm gonna uh, that's I hope my fingers weren't in the way I was watching the coin not the screen so that's definitely rolling off there like silver so that one is good and let's see about this one it'd be a shame to tear those nice stamps Walib. Yeah. Walib on the return address. Um, this coin in Mike's video look bigger maybe there's a this is a one shilling it's a 1816 one shilling and it's called the bullhead shilling and I'll have to relook at Mike's um, English coin flips side to side. I have to relook at Mike's video. Maybe he was just real close to it because it looked bigger, like the size of a quarter in Mike's video. But nonetheless, this is a good looking coin. Um, this is George the Third. George is the king that uh, was reigning during the American Revolution and um, later he went mad um, they made a movie out of him, the, Mag the Madness of King George it's kind of, kind of, it's a good movie I've seen not kind of a good movie, it's a good movie in his later years he was blind from cataracts, almost deaf and had an old had a beard come down to his belly but uh as you see on the, it says $120 on there. I paid $39 for this coin. And that's the price he wanted. That's the price he asked for. That is not something that I got on a, um, on a, on a lucky auction or something. Um, so, oh, the, uh, the reverse of this is cool um that is the center of his coat of arms on the outside of his coat of, actually when he was the prince of wales that was his coat of arms i looked this up on wikipedia and uh later on when he was the king he had lions and unicorns and all that stuff on the outside of this but what that is surrounding his coat of arms is and it's also part of his coat of arms is the order of the garter which is still 
in existence today. Um, I remember watching on TV um, the Queen and uh, the Prince of Wales taking uh, Prince William to a ceremony when they were dressed up in this uh, fanciful costume that had to do with this this uh, order of the garter and uh, so there's you know, it's still done today and but anyway I, when I saw this bullhead kind of cool picture of George I said I'm gonna get that one too and I'm gonna see this coin is 24 millimeters I guess that would have told me that it was not as big as a quarter. And it landed on 18. So I'm looking at a coin that might not be shilling that may be why I got such a good price at it the shilling is 24 millimeters which is the size of a quarter I didn't think I was going crazy And of course the the shilling would weigh 5.65 grams. Let's see, since 2.82. Well, that's interesting. So the one that uh, Mike had was. So I'll do some digging. Let me see if this thing is silver, if I can tell on such a small coin, I don't know. Seems to be made out of silver. I can't read it without my loop as to what it says it is. But I'll do some, I don't do editing on videos. It takes too long and I don't know how. Um, so I'll look and see if this is a half shilling or whatever the you know sixpence or whatever they call them, and I'll put it in the description below the video. So um, that's why it wasn't one hundred and twenty dollars, folks. It was, uh, but it was not properly marked on this. Uh, on this flip. This flip says one shilling. 1816 George III, one shilling. And if there, one way or another, either this guy made a mistake or he's got some explaining to do. I'm not, uh, not real thrilled. I gotta look at the pictures and go back. Well, that's the first time on uh, one of my videos that I've had something like this happen. I'm hoping that the coin's legitimate than that it's, you know, a sixpence or something. But I don't know. I will have to let you know. It's, I guess this is something uh, that'll be kind of fun to look up and see what's going on. Um, but I'll do that. And... Uh, when I put up the video, I'll let y'all know what the results of it are. I go back, go back and look at the eBay listing and see what, um, what this is all about. So, why is my camera not focusing on you? Anyhow, 
that's all for now. I've got a, uh, I've got, I've got some silver coming in. Probably the end of the week will be here, and uh, that'll be the subject of my next video. So until then, I'm 1042.